Welcome to another video of Tossic Garage. Today we're gonna try to make the tachometer on the Supra work because right now I have no RPM. And the way we're gonna do that is um, we're gonna take the cluster out and we're gonna jump a resistor that's behind the RPM gauge. The reason for that is because this car wasn't any had distributor and the output signal from the uh, it was like a positive it has a positive pulse into the the cluster that's why it has a resistor now since we have the the GTE igniter it's a negative pulse it's a, a, a low pulse so it's not working so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything out from here and um and we're gonna jump that we're gonna do a jumper and hopefully you know that gets it to work now I'm gonna turn it on just so you guys see that um that the RPMs are not working. And this is a completely cold cold um start and it's turning on. As you see the temperature is low. So this is a cold start and it's idling fine, which is pretty cool. I like it. But you see, no, no RPM. So it's time to take everything out, do my little connection jumper, and cross our fingers that it works. All right. So as you guys can see, we're taking everything out. Um, it's pretty easy to take out. It's not hard. But... Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this. Took this out, took a lot apart. You gotta take the glass out. This part is just got clips comes off. Then it's got three bolts which I have, in, which I have in my pocket so I don't lose them. Oh look at wasp. Then thing wants to attack me. That's all right. Probably wants to be in the YouTube channel. When I want to send thought and prayers to that wasp. Look what I got here. Wasp killer. Oh, come on. Goodbye. No more wasp. May you rest in peace. My condolences to your family, Mr. Wasp. All right, so we were here. So, all right, so let's, let me show you guys. This is obviously the RPM. I'm going to turn it around. And this is the circuit board that we're going to be working with. Now, if you turn it like this, there is a pin which is a resistor, which is this one right here, this orange one right here. That one is the one that that um, kind of like reduces the signal, so it's not 12 volt hitting this thing, this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the back and we're gonna jump it from here, from there to there. We're gonna put our jumper wire from there to there and then we're gonna hook it back up. And I'm waiting for my little soldering thing to warm up, but I haven't used that thing in a long time, so I don't even know if it's working, but hopefully it's working. I bought some, bought some new soldering cable. So how do I take this out? The first thing you do, is you take out the bolts on the top, which hold those pieces back there, take that out, and then you just push this out, push this out, and just leave it there. And then take these three plugs out and that should be good to go. Take the cluster bolts out and it comes out. So I mean it's not hard. I mean I've been only working here for like five minutes. And we are almost ready to start surgery. And I want to put this on, on top of something that so I don't burn it. I mean not, I don't scratch it or or break it or something. Something soft, a soft surface. Like this bubble wrap. But I'm not gonna use that bubble wrap. Yeah, all right, let's see. Let's wait for this thing to heat up. I'm gonna show you guys once it's done. I just saw that this thing was a pain in the butt because I have to hold this, that, and this at the same time. But I don't know if you can see that it's jumped already. It goes from that to there and it's jumped. All right, so right now I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape maybe on this one. But other than that, shoot, we were looking good to go. So we're gonna put everything back and we're gonna see if it works. Everything, everything clicked. 
now we have to put the last three bolts which are the ones that hold the RPM piece in place I know somebody wrote on the comments that um that I needed a table so I don't injure my back anymore I forgot who it was but guess what buddy I listened to you now I got a table so I don't, I don't injure my back anymore so hopefully this this table will keep me healthy for a long time oh lord we got the temp gauge working yesterday too with the I took the sensor from the I connected the sensor to the radiator and the radiator wasn't grounded so it wasn't working so I grounded I put a ground wire to the radiator and then it started working now this process that I did where I just jumped that cable it's the same as for the SC 300 and SC 400 the only thing is that the trans that resistor is in a different place so you just gotta find where I mean and I know this forums where I show you where it is but it will be basically the same process I just connected the wire the, the plugs in the back it's still not it's still loose but we're gonna we're gonna test it I don't think I unhooked anything only this one over here but I don't think that should affect RPM now I think I can put this this one back just so I can crank it better Boom, boom. There we go. Let's see. Let's cross, cross my fingers. Uh, this thing doesn't burn. Oh, I got the wipers on. All right. Uh oh. Yes, it is working. It worked awesome. So now I gotta put everything back. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching again. Um, I finished the fabrication. How it take? My welder did all this fabrication for me. Welded this piece in here. Just like that. And same thing on this side. All that is done. So right now we just got a tune. Anybody got a cover for here? Let me know. I need one. I'll buy it. Don't just don't ask like for like 300 bucks. I don't have 300 bucks. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned something. If you got any questions, let me know. But so far, right now, we should be tuning pretty soon. Now, check, check, check out, check this out. I got the LSD diff here, right? It's a 323. But when I check my the diff that I got right now, I am missing a mount. Look at that. And I didn't know I was missing a mount. That's why every time I take off, the car will like bounce, like it will start jerking hard because I'm running on only one mount. So once I change that differential and I put the 323 LSD and I put in the, I, I order some solid bushings. So once I do all that, then I'm gonna, we're gonna tune. For the meantime, we're just gonna keep doing the little things, pinching the little things that need to be fixed. And hopefully it will be, like I said, we'll be dynoing this thing soon. We're gonna do some street tuning first, then we'll take it to the dyno. But as of right now, the car is drivable. I've been, I drove it the whole week. I just didn't have that RPM, which I, I really wanted, it, okay? So again, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next video.